Hey guys, welcome back to Ricky Wins again. I uh, just wanted to touch base with you guys. I've sent out messages to everybody that's in the submission this month. And I forgot to mention, but I will actually be in Atlanta. Uh, I live in Mississippi, and I'll be in Atlanta next week from uh, Tuesday to Thursday or Friday. So I can't confirm that I'll actually get your packages until Saturday or so, but I'll, I'll let you know. My wife, she'll be here, so she'll, she can, she'll, she'll get the mail. Uh, but yeah, I just I forgot to mention that to you. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm also... Uh, the cards that I'll probably be sending in... I've actually... I tried to crack into this guy, and it seems to be working pretty well. I think I'm going to do an actual video on it, though. Um, I'm probably going to use these guys. And that's what I used on this, and it popped it, I mean, no problem. So, uh, let's see how that works on the rest of them. This is a pretty cheap card, so... Uh, I was wanting to try it on it beforehand, and it and it that's just barely, barely putting any pressure on it, and it seems to have, you know, cracked it pretty good. The car didn't move or anything, so I think we'll be okay. But I'll do I'll do a video uh, showing me do all that stuff. Oh yeah, another thing I was actually uh, my wife uh, over the weekend she, uh, over the weekend no she did this when did she did this Thursday she went to her mom's and she was helping her mom clean out one of her old. Uh, back rooms that she had a bunch of junk just stored in and she came across a bunch of uh, baseball cards and actually some old magazines like some old Michael Jordan magazines and stuff that are they're not worth anything I've, you know, I've looked up on the, on the internet to see if there was anything but she also found just a bunch of baseball cards from like uh, 1994 95 and and around there or whatever and I looked through them and there wasn't really anything worth a crap in there but I did come across this one. It's a 95 Upper Deck SP of Bip Roberts. And I remember this card. It's, it's actually got Ricky, you know, right there on that. So that's kind of a cool card. Uh, even though it's not a Ricky card, it's a, it's a Bip Roberts card. Uh, wait, where's his name? Where the crap is his name? Oh, it's over here. I don't know if anybody remembers Bip Roberts. I do remember Bip Roberts. Uh, it'd be awesome to have a name like Bip, huh? But anyway, it's kind of a cool card that, that she found. Uh, let's see, what else? I was going to mention something else. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody would be interested in doing, like, box breaks. I don't know. I've always liked doing those. Uh, I, I don't want to make any money off of it. I just think it would be kind of cool to, to actually do it. Um, I would probably go pretty big, not just a box, but actually cases of stuff. And the way that... I, Chris on the, at the Hobby Box, he done some cool stuff. The way I like the way he did some of the breaks um, for the group breaks. If a if a product like a case had say 36 hits in it, there would be 30 36 spots open for that particular break, and that means everybody would get a hit regardless. And I kind of like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I, I, I like that. And I'm thinking about doing. Uh, just just let me know. You know. Everybody comment. Let me know if if you'd like to do that kind of thing. I know a lot of you aren't even into baseball or anything like that, and I don't I don't collect anything other than baseball. And actually, I don't collect anything new at all. But that I don't know. I like case breaks and stuff like that. It might be something kind of cool to do. Uh, like I'm looking out on blowout cards right now, and they've got a case of 2011 Topps Tier One baseball. Uh, it's a 12 box case, and every box there's three hits. Uh, two autograph cards, one relic card, a uh, parallel card, and three base cards. And uh, I think it'd be, you know, that's, that's 36 hits right there. And the price for a, a, a case right now is $824. And I think if you break that down, it's like, I don't know, 20... Uh, 824.95 divided by 36 hits. It's like $22.91 a card or a spot. Uh, meaning you know, that's 22 bucks meaning you will get a card regardless uh, I've been in I've been in breaks before where I didn't get anything other than like a couple of base cards and and that's really sucky um, but this is just kind of an example that I pulled up because I actually like the tier one uh, autographs the I don't remember what they're called the uh, top tier one whatever uh, the Ricky Henderson's got a an autograph card in that it's really cool I haven't got it yet but I don't generally collect any of the newer stuff, but that is one of his cards, the newer cards that I really like to have. So anyway, just as, as an example, that'd be like $22.91. I'd probably say, I don't know, $24. That'd be with shipping for every card. Um, it'd actually probably be more than that. So I would, I'd just 
I'd have to get it shipped from Blowout or wherever I bought it from. And um, but anyway, it'd be around twenty two, twenty three, twenty four dollars a spot, something like that. Just as an example, um, and I know that they put the extra hits in, in this product, some with the sixtieth uh, birthday autographs, and that'd be. And, and if we did get something like that, that could be something that could be random against everybody. Um, but anyway, you, you guys might not even be interested in anything like that. Uh, but anyway, just let me know. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do, I think. I've always wanted to do that. I like I like box breaks and case breaks and everything like that. I like watching Chris do them, and I like watching... Um, oh, crap. What's his name? Uh, hey, everybody. True 17. I like watching his stuff, too. I was actually in one of his breaks, and I didn't get anything very good, but it was it was fun. It was, it was nice. I got the Rockies. Actually, I got the Pirates. No... Uh, no, who did I get? Actually, I got the Devil Rays, and I should have kept them because they actually got a good bit of hits. They hadn't, they didn't in this previous break, but I had the Devil Rays, and I actually traded it for the Pirates, sneaking maybe some Clemente or you know some kind of um, some some kind of old school stuff because the Pirates have been around a lot longer than the Rays, and I'm, I like older players more so than newer stuff. Turns out I didn't get a single hit in the in the, in the entire break. Uh, I should have known better with the Pirates, but um, I did get some base cards, and I did get, since I didn't get any hits, I actually got into the drawing for the teams that he had taken out, and I got of uh, the Rockies, and I got a few, you know, Rockies cards, uh, a triple relic, triple auto that I re that was a redemption, and I sent the redemption in, and, and the redemption time came and went, and I actually had to trade it out for another card that's supposed to be on its way, so I don't know what it's going to be. Um, the card that I was going to get was actually pretty cool. Carlos Gonzalez. Um, Carlos Gonzalez? Larry Walker, Carlos Gonzalez, and Abildo, Abaldo Jimenez. Triple Relic, Triple Auto. And I've, I've always liked Larry Walker. He was, he was always one of my guys to watch, favorite guys to watch. Um, but anyway, just let me know what you think, guys, if you want to do breaks or not. Um, I'd like to do that as well as the PSA submissions every once in a while. I just, I don't know, I just like all of it, I guess. But anywho... Hope you guys have a good week and don't get in any trouble. Had a busy day here. We worked in the yard. I got a little burnt. I'm pretty red, but um, had a good day overall. So hopefully you guys did too. Uh, take care and we'll see you later.